Last time we found out that we have a very severe electrolysis damage. In order to get it repaired, the yard needs to weld all over the hull. For us that means we have to remove all the interior and all the insulation. A task we've planned to do the whole winter long. But since we are on a budget and they take time is money quite literally in the yard, we have to be fast. Hello, it is so good to see you again. So far we learned that a refit project has many ups and downs. And this time we take it quite literally. First we rip out the interior and the insulation, then we bring everything up on deck and then we have to find a way how to bring everything down on solid ground again. And since we have no time to spare, let's get started to rip out the galley. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. Then we decided it is time for a new chapter in life and bought a huge historic ship. And now we are in for a very long project and on a mission to convert this neglected steel boat back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. Finally the time has come to take her out of the water and start restoring the hull. So join us on this journey and welcome to the shipyard series. You probably still remember the video where we talked about our galley and moved all the boxes from the fossil to the saloon. Well, now it's the other way around so that we can remove all the interior and the insulation from the saloon. Since we found out that the yard has to weld all over the ship, we have to remove all the insulation because otherwise there is a high risk that the welding starts a fire. So now after I have removed all the stuff from the saloon and the galley, the next step is to remove all the interior that is next to the hull. And then we remove the insulation. Ripping out the galley was faster and easier than thought, 
And now let's hope it's the same with the insulation. To get rid of all the covering boards here, I try to make a plunge cut with the jigsaw. So dive into the wood. Let's see what happens. Well, worked out better than expected. Are you interested in the bad news? Hmm? Are you interested in the bad news? Oh, yeah, well. Bad news, not problem. Let alone professional sailing, ripping out insulation, that's sport.
I want to show you something really funny. This boat here is our neighbor in Lelystad. And now follow me. This boat is also our neighbor in Lelystad. And now I tell you something really shocking. That one is 17 meters. And next to our boat, it just looks like a toy. If you ever wondered what we were going to do with all the wood we ripped out, well, originally we planned to reuse most of it. However, when we had a closer look, we decided there was only one real purpose for it. Part of why ripping out the insulation is so exhausting is that we wear these heavy duty face masks whenever we work with the insulation because of the tar. And just to give you an imagination, this is a normal P3 or FFP3 filter. And due to COVID, I don't have to explain what that is. And I give you the size comparison in between a P3 filter and the filters we wear whenever we work with the insulation. And the thing with these masks is they give you the illusion that you can breathe, but in reality, it's just a way of slowly suffocation. But anyway, now let's rip out the insulation on the port side. Before we rip out all the interior on the port side and remove all the insulation, we have to bring up the insulation we removed yesterday up here on deck. And I appear, all bets are off, my dear. Just because I can't go back, and all the hate I feel, you're coming over. 
We packed the cork insulation in plastic bags to avoid the dust flying everywhere. So it would not be a good idea to just throw them overboard like we did with the wood. Luckily, the yard borrowed us the forklift and Daniel will have great fun operating a forklift for the very first time in his life and as always pretending to be a professional. And just as a small reminder, if you want to support this channel, then please leave a like because it really means a lot to us. And now let's have a look how Daniel gets along with the forklift. So that's all we have time for today. So we started to gut the interior and we bought all the insulation on the starboard side. However, we learned quite soon that there is no small project on an 82 feet ship, especially when you rush through all the projects that were meant to take the whole winter within some weeks. So luckily the fun of ripping out insulation will continue next time on the port side. So next time we will focus on how to take out the insulation and we will take a closer look on the condition of the stringers, the frames and the high. The problem when ripping out insulation that was sitting there for 72 years is, you never know what you will find buried underneath it. So you see, there will be quite some interesting stuff coming up next time. So I highly suggest you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>